Diffusion The process of gradual mixing of two substances kept in contact is called diffusion. Whenever diffusion takes place, molecules of one substance penetrates through the spaces between the molecules of the other substance to equalize the concentration of molecules in the two substances. Diffusion takes place in solids, liquids and gases, but it is faster in gases than in liquids. It is slow in solids. It is because of diffusion you are able to get the fragrance of the perfumes and flowers. Diffusion of a solid into a liquid. Drop crystals of potassium permanganate into a beaker containing water. We observe that the crystals of potassium permanganate gradually intermingle with water to form a pink solution. Diffusion of a liquid into a liquid. Take some saturated solution of copper sulfate in a tall beaker. Allow it to settle. With the help of a pipette, add some water to the solution of copper sulfate in such a way that water flows along the side of the beaker and forms a separate layer above the solution of copper sulfate. Cover the beaker and leave it undisturbed. Initially, water floats on top of the copper sulfate solution as it is less dense. After a few hours, we see that the blue copper sulfate solution becomes pale blue in color. The color becomes pale blue as there is an intermingling of water molecules with the molecules of copper sulfate solution. Diffusion in gases. Diffusion of ammonia into hydrogen chloride. Let us see how diffusion of two gases takes place and undergoes a chemical reaction. Take a long glass tube and plug end A with cotton wool soaked in ammonia and end B with cotton wool soaked in hydrochloric acid. Seal the ends with rubber buns. What do you observe? we observe a dense white cloud. The dense white cloud is formed due to the diffusion of ammonia in hydrogen chloride. Diffusion of bromine into air. Arrange gas jars containing bromine and air as shown here. Remove the cover plate. What do you observe? The brown colored bromine gas rapidly spreads into the jar containing air to produce a uniform bromine air mixture of pale brown color. 